Dear colleagues, I strongly support a joint European approach in vaccine procurement. It shields us from toxic divisions and helps smaller member states like my own. But colleagues, we have been calling for transparency of vaccine purchases for half a year now. And it's very good to have a commitment on this, but Madam President, we should have heard this speech last June. It was clear from the very beginning that extra efforts need to be made to increase transparency. And what we heard until now was a lack of clear communication, avoiding parliamentary scrutiny, refusing questions from journalists. In a crisis, it's a recipe for disaster. Uncertainty is everywhere these days, and our citizens expect to have all the information about timelines, production, delivery, what will they get, when and how. And if something goes wrong, they also deserve to know why. Who took the decision to refuse millions of extra doses of the frontrunner vaccines? Who negotiated? Which member states were dragging their feet? We need to know that, because accountability and scrutiny are not unnecessary nagging. But they are the cornerstones of democracy and our number jo one job as parliamentarians. And we will fulfill this role in the future as well. Thank you very much.